Hello, welcome to Studio Pixel. In this video, we are going to discuss about the Quad Draw tool in Maya. Quad Draw tool is a very important tool for retopology uh, creation. So it's like if you are getting a high resolution scan image, scan uh, a 3D model, or you are using a ZBrush and you have used a, a very high res, uh, mo you have created a high, very high res model, and now you want to uh, make it uh, riggable or maybe for gaming purpose, you have to use the retopology option. Now retopology can be done in Maya, and the Quadra tool is all about that. So let me show you how how we can use it. Now under the mesh tool, you can get the uh, Quadra tool. Now you can uh, use this option or you can use uh, uh, from modeling toolkit. I would recommend it use uh, from modeling toolkit. There is a reason for that. So first of all, let me show you. Uh, let's suppose I have an object and I just uh, want to increase the subdivision level so that you'll understand how things actually work. So it's a very, very high res uh, model and I want to create a low res version of it. Now for that, what you have to do is, first of all, you have to make your object live because if you go to your mesh tool and turn on the quad draw, uh, if, you, if you are not, uh, let me deselect the object first. Okay, now if you go to the quad draw option, your, your quad draw actually requires a live surface of selected mesh. Now selected mesh means uh, you have already created a, a certain mesh and you want to you know, change uh, a certain features of that mesh. For that also you can use this tool, but for 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 the introduction purpose, I would suggest you to uh, start with an object and make it live. So select the object you want to make live and then op go to this option and make the selected object live. Turn on the option, so you'll see the P-Sphere 1 is live. Now the problem is that you won't see any changes, and but, the pro but you'll see that you cannot select your object anymore because you have actually turned on the live. Now if you turn on this option called wireframe on shaded what will happen you will see that your wireframe color has been changed to green now if you go to the mesh tool and go to quad draw you will see that you will getting an option for creating uh, certain points now for that i would as i have already told you that i would recommend uh, you start with start from modeling toolkit now you can turn on and off as you wish. There are few options. I will uh, explain you all all of this uh, to you. Now, first of all, you just randomly click, and you will see that there are certain uh, points you will uh, you you will get like a vertex. Now, if you hit enter like any other tool in Maya, you won't get anything. But instead of that, if you hit press shift, you will see that these four points will create a particular. Uh, quad or a particular polygon press shift and when you see this you will if you click it will actually create that surface now this surface will be absolutely aligned with that uh, the live object that I have already created that in this case is which is a sphere now from here you you can actually uh, extrude your uh, different components of this or maybe you can create a more surface according to your requirement let's suppose i want my uh, object to be created and or sorry extended from here now if you click these two button or these two points and if, again if you press shift you will see that will automatically get extended from uh, from the last uh, created surface, which is a very good thing uh, uh, for for an mo uh, for the for the modeling artist. Now you can in fact use uh, extrude also. Whereas this time your extrusion will be completely different. You have to hit tab and then you have to drag it to make it extended. This is something really interesting. So you have to use press tab and you will see that extend option will come up exactly like the way the extrude will come up in the in the, by pressing shift while we are creating a, a normal modeling. Now press tab and you can just click and drag and it will it will come come out. Now a similar basis uh, 
this time I'm using only uh, uh, after after tab and the middle uh, sorry uh, left mouse button if you want to create if you want to extend the entire row I mean entire uh, uh, row of uh, edge you can use tab plus middle mouse and you can see the entire uh, edges of, of this particular border will will actually you know get extended so this is something really interesting and uh, this can be very very helpful according to your model by the way you don't have to worry about the extrusion because all the extrusion whatever you are extruding or or even uh, uh, creating it will be always be aligned with the surface which is a high risk surface uh, in this case so uh, yeah so here uh, for the option box I would uh, rather recommend you to turn on the auto weld option on which is actually uh, you know very helpful I would not recommend you to turn it off and this 10 option is actually for uh, the number of pixels uh, calculating uh, on your viewport that how much the distance threshold this uh, auto welding is going to happen pose that uh, I have already uh, told you about the extend options but this options are actually uh, can be uh, can be changed into uh, loop or border now now I have already shown you the loop and the edge options by you know uh, sorry uh, accidentally I have cl uh, clicked over here so what I have to do is I have to control shift and if you click on the point it will get delete same as if you hit control shift and click on an edge or a face it will get delete so this is something really uh, interesting so if I click over there and if I uh, click one point and I don't want this particular point to be over here I want it over there I can drag it over there and then I sh use uh, use the shift and click and to create that particular surface so this construction method is actually absolutely under your control how how you want to create where you want to put your vertex you want to age uh, uh, you know delete your age and you want to uh, reconstruct that particular portion you really can do that similar way you can uh, change your vertex position and uh, as well as the age position also so this is really something uh, really cool about this uh, quad draw tool now uh, let me uh, I think you have already sh uh, saw a glimpse of it I'm going to uh, show you how you can use the subdivide option over here so if you click on control press on control and you hover on, on your mouse you can see that you will get your uh, subdivision options over here like this now if you similarly if you press control and over on other uh, uh, horizontal uh, uh, edges you can get the vertical divisions also so in that in that way you can easily you know uh, change your uh, or maybe delete or sorry uh, you you can ma make your surface subdivide now in the similar way if you want you you can you want to change you want to delete or some delete some some edges you can also create that in a similar fashion by pressing control plus shift and your entire row will be gone now what if I I don't uh, want to you know uh, I really don't want to uh, delete the other uh, edges but only this one now that's where this the limitation will come but you have to understand that this is a quad draw tool so everything will be created on the quad basis you you are not being allowed to create uh, a tool something something which is not based on quad uh, quad uh, surface so you cannot create triangle you cannot create five sided so whatever whatever your addition or subtraction will be it has to be in, in the basis of the quad now you can see and uh, let me uh, explain you on this uh, subdivision option one more time before that I'll just you can control shift and drag and everything almost uh, all can be go fine great so cool now let's suppose I have a surface and then I'm just creating one more one more like that adjust this particular face and then tab and middle mouse to extrude my face 
similar way extrude now if I want to subdivide this let me extend a little bit so it will be easier for you to understand that why how the relax option is actually very helpful so okay now if I add a subdivision you can see this particular uh, option the the edge that has been created is not act exactly aligned the uh, following the surface flow which is sometimes can be really uh, 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 important to create so for that what you have to do is you have to press only shift and then you have to use the relax option to you know under uh, to uh, to relax this uh, a, the vertex and as well as the the edges so that the the size of of the polygons become almost kind of a same now this is something really interesting it's it's come with a very good option uh, over here by default it's an auto lock but uh, there are two other options that is interior border faces and all vertices i would not recommend you to uh, use all vertices because that will going to uh, you know ruin uh, some of your shape uh, but yeah if you uh, relax the interior vertices you, you will only get you know get relaxed the interior part of the vertices not the outside so you see you can you cannot actually relax the outs the border vertex over here but you actually can relax the internal vertices this is this something this can be a very good handy while you are creating a very complex shape near most probably a most probably for a character in near the eyes or maybe the nostrils and all so this can be very 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 handy now now for extension and all you you can uh, so uh, for the extension what you can do is instead of edge you can uh, use the border also and that's way that's why you can extend the entire border by again pressing tab and uh, left click and you can ex extend your uh, the same uh, shape with uh, with the middle mouse and middle mouse and uh, uh, left button but again if you hit tab and uh, middle mouse you you won't get the desired result as earlier but we are getting as a loop but so you have to be very careful about about using uh, the extend border option and the middle mouse uh, and tab uh, uh, keyboard shortcut so this this is little tricky so you have to be very very careful about it so I would rather put it on edge uh, uh, on instead of loop or maybe border option over here cool uh, so this is a quad strip width this is the no, the kind of uh, what, what are the thickness of the extended part now live constraint options are quite interesting you can change the, the colors from the wireframe of the of, of the wireframe color you can just click on this you can turn into a pink or green or maybe yellow or red whatever you want so I preferred black which is it's okay it's a default color or you can change the mesh color also with something uh, you know lighter version of it so that is also and if you if you don't want any any so any changes in the settings you just reset the settings this is very self-explanatory I'm not going to same as the mesh alpha that how much uh, you know opacity you want to you want to see that how the mesh flow is actually going the original mesh flow the high res mesh flow is going and, uh, and I want to trace it out so okay fine and if you want to create if you have already created a certain uh, number of uh, 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 
ages uh, sorry points that you, you don't want to you know uh, you want to just delete them just clear the dots so you can directly clear the dots now there are a number of uh, keyboards and mouse shortcuts that which i think some of the already i have covered so you can go through them and you can get the idea of the shortcuts from here also it's up to you so this is all about the uh, quad draw tool i hope i have uh, explained almost uh, go, or almost gone through the every every option which is possible so hope you enjoy this thank you very much please subscribe to our youtube channel and follow us on facebook and twitter